Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. New month today, 1st of November. Let's look at this Aussie chart to start the day. RBA hiked by 25. Um, last night, we saw a knee jerk higher up to 64.45. I guess more importantly, is this emblematic of perhaps a pause are we at the neutral point uh, most importantly is the Fed at the neutral point so here's your US tens we slopped up to 411 yesterday but now we're back at 402 obviously FOMC is tomorrow um, we'll have to see we'll just have to see what happens Today we're looking for another sort of rangy, sort of sloppy day, um, waiting for the FOMC. I don't think we're going to move anywhere. We have to see where the pain is. I think first move today, dollar's probably going to go lower, um, just based on this Aussie news. So Right now it's pretty early still, um, 5 a.m. in... Uh, in the UK so let's just uh, let's just see what happens when they when they get in what else we got we got this euro sterling yesterday we had another move euro sterling at the fix this is now just pretty much a pure break trade um, 8569 doesn't make any sense um, I certainly wouldn't do this uh, if there was anything else but a break trade, you know, you just know systems are going to be here. Um, trend following systems are going to be here selling. So let's just see what happens at that moment and make a decision there. If it looks good, hold it. If it doesn't look good, just scratch it. It's fine. Um, so that's interesting in that sense. I have no idea uh, why anyone would be interested in buying sterling these days. Um, but you know, FX is a funny, it's a funny village, right? And so, you know, you got to use all the tools in the toolbox. And one of the tools we have is break trading. So this is this is just pure and simple break trade. Aussie yen, um, we were looking at this level down here last week, 93.89. But looks like Aussie yen may cruise a little bit higher here. No, nothing really to see there. Here we have the Aussie dollar. Just talked about that. Interestingly, a doji yesterday. So total indecision, 63.99 after printing a what was it? 70, 67, 68, 63.68 low. Um, as you can see, equities are higher today. They're also thinking probably the same thing. Are we in the neutral? Have we arrived at neutral in rates? Um, See Italy's at 4:30, US 4:02. Here we are, Euro, just kind of following Aussie around, basically not doing too too much so far today. Um, at the fix last night, we cruised down to 98.70. We're back above the figure. Um, look, at this is the 200-hour right here. Seems to be capping things a bit. Anyway, this euro I think is going to float higher, and, and uh, is it? Are we going to end up kind of dancing around parity for the FOMC in euro dollar? Let's use our imaginations. Is this what's going to happen? Maybe. But again, just grabbing for pips today. What's the what's the range going to be today? Is it going to be ninety fifty five uh, euro dollar? Not expecting a lot just kind of swooshing around um, cable it's a pretty bearish day yesterday um, in cable no real axe to grind for me I don't really have a view here what's gonna happen uh, I guess it would probably float higher um, let's see if there's any data out of the UK today 
No. What do we have? Final manufacturing PMI. It's not really going to move any needles. Not much to say in, in, in sterling. Dollar yen looks like it had a little bit of a mini turn. I was thinking yesterday, 84. I literally was like, 148.84. Did I act on it? No, but um, sometimes your intuition is um, is weird like that. Anyway, 84.3 the high. Uh, flipped down to 12 over here in the Tokyo session again. And this is just... This is trading around 10-year movements, right? 10-year goes from 411 to 402. Dollar yen goes from 70 to 12. Dollar Swiss is a less volatile uh, version of that. Um, we had a whopping 10-point uh, move, basically 14 to 04. Um, Euro Swiss. Nobody really cares about Euro Swiss at 99.09. It's still cheap in the bigger scheme of things, but it's like. Um, Nobody really cares. It's a totally flow-driven pair these days. I guess you could just try and buy dips on something like this. So anytime you see this down here, which is about three standard deviations from from something that's interesting, um, you can be a buyer. If you bought here, that wouldn't have been that great. But down here, obviously, those were those were some cool buys. But we're not trading Euro Swiss. Dollar CAD, we are trading. Turn day yesterday. Shit wants lower now. Got this big level here, 135. We are sellers of Dollar CAD um, today. Trying to figure out the best point to get in. Um, maybe on the shorter time zones here, time varies here. Maybe up towards the figure. But uh, we like Dollar CAD lower. Euro yen, no real interest here, just kind of fluffing around. Um, we're waiting for Euro yen to see 150 and then, then we'll be sellers. Sterling yen, same thing. Sterling yen up at 175. Um, we're sellers. This is just math talking to us, nothing else. Dollars are uh, just bobbing around, not doing too much here. Let's look at the dailies. Can this uh, mean revert? Probably can, right? If we if this is the end of the rate cycle, um, or if we're in neutral now and around the world, um, dollars are will go lower. Probably gets some sort of acceleration below 1788. Euro Aussie lower. Talked about this yesterday, but we didn't really have our trading hats on this morning at 4:30 a.m. Um, 153.91 didn't really work. I don't know how to trade Euro Aussie. Um, that's a tough one. Swiss yen, nobody cares. I'm sure this is higher, yeah. Kiwi's higher. And now we're at this interesting juncture here, 58.73. There should be some acceleration above that. Um, It's got some clear air on the top side here. If we get a big move in equities um, and re U.S. rates keep going lower, this Kiwi, Aussie, Dollar Cad, it's kind of all the same trade. Dollar Cad's my horse, so I'm not going to fuck around in Kiwi, but um, Kiwi looks all right. Euro Norway, just because we love Oslo, um, and Norwegian people in general are good fun. In a sort of like <clears throat> dull way. Give them 30 drinks and then the roof comes off. But uh, we like the Norwegians. Um, whale meat aside. 1021. What's oil doing? Not too much. Crude's up a little bit. Crude's just lulling everybody to sleep, not doing too much. Euro Norway, no idea. Dollar dollar Norway, same thing. I'm guessing dollar Norway is going to go lower um, just because the dollar complex itself should get devalued today. Euro Cad, we've been looking to sell this, but it never really showed joy. Cad Yen is a buy, I bet, yeah. Does it get interesting at 110? Historically, it's so high. Jesus. Um, 
No, I wouldn't buy Cat Yen. Kiwi Yen. Same same chart. It's mixed signals, right? So we kinda like dollar yen lower, we like Kiwi higher, like don't don't see any real direction there. Let's see what this Sinaloa cartel has for us today. Nineteen seventy five. It's a good year. I was five years old. Um might yield something, but nothing really nothing really crazy interesting gold futures <laughs> gold is on its knees gold sucks gold should turn though if um if rates go to neutral so this is also it's one of the same type of trades right um dollar lower today gold could be your horse you see bitcoin and solana and matic is not cooperating um but solana and ethereum are Ethereum, let's see. This is the 200 day, 1684. We're going to sell first time there with a real tight stop. But again, this is math, right? This is three sigma and the 200. So we sell the Ethereum up at 1700 for a trade. Try and scrape 10% uh, on that. Solana, uh, kind of middle of nowhere. 200 days way up at 43 bucks so got to be careful we like Solana a lot higher um, but we're very neutral right now so we're we're core long but we're only one third of our nominal uh, long position because we're below the 200 day again I'll get into uh, my signals with crypto another time that's about it on the on the uh, short-term trading book um, we do have some long-term stuff that we trade here. These are all equities that we own um, or we look at on a daily basis. We don't own them all. Um, a lot of them are yield-driven. Maybe we'll do a little weekend talk about like taking your trading profits and putting them into assets, which of course are just equities or funds or ETFs or, or whatnot. I'll probably talk about that another day. Anyway, I've said enough for today. Looks like the dollar is going to go lower at the London Open. Uh, looking for a small, rangy day today. Just grab your pips, put some P&L in the books, um, and you know, probably get some fitness. Get your mind right for tomorrow. FOMC is going to be a doozy. Uh, with that, I wish you a profitable day ahead, and I will talk to you later. Ciao.